Welcome back. I got a chance to talk with Amir from Tulip Cooking about a new cooktop built right into your counters. This could change the way you look at your new kitchen. When it comes to cooking in your home, I love products that I have not seen before, and this is one of them. Amir, welcome to Around the House Northwest and Tulip Cooking. Hey, thanks for having me. Man, this is great. Thanks for taking the time today. You guys have came up with this innovative new way to cook, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, it's taken a bit of uh, a bit of design and a bit of time, but I think we have something that we can really start playing even further from. So I, I preface that to say that, you know, the European style of modular cooking has always been where you have a dedicated 12 or 15 inch modular piece, whether it's two pieces of gas or induction or a griddle or whatever. But now we can take that single burner and put it by itself or configure it in different ways to create a much more design oriented, beautiful gas cooktop. And with Tulip, we can take it even further because we can mix and match gas and induction, which are like the two perfect cooking technologies that exist today. Absolutely. I am a huge fan of induction cooking. I have been for geez, 30 years. Uh, back in the day when uh, everybody looked at it like it was black magic, but uh, it is something that is for serious cooks. Um, it was designed for a very specific application. And so in the U.S. and Canada, where energy is not as, as, it's not as much of a mindset as it is in, say, other parts of the world, but in Europe, where gas is not necessarily available everywhere, and if you don't live on the natural gas line, then you don't want to get natural gas. So taking induction as a technology was designed to give people who couldn't have gas almost an electrical equivalent. So at the beginning, it wasn't designed to be better. It was designed to give you apples and apples. But then it's an electrical technology, and you can do a lot more with an electrical technology than you can do with a gas technology. So over the past 30, 40 years, the induction that's available today far surpasses the gas technology that's available. Yeah, it's great. And I love what you guys have done because, you know, with with countertops that we see out there, whether it's porcelain or granite or whatever people are looking at out there, with countertops, you can run that countertop, that vein of marble looking material right through there, and the cooktop doesn't have to ruin it. Correct. And that's become the issue over the last 10 or 15 years. You know, we've gone from that traditional Formica top and we started looking at the, the looking at the natural stone product. And so all of a sudden granite and marble became the new high end. But in the last five, 10 years, we've gone an engineered stone and we've started with quartz and now we're going to sintered stone. So we have the porcelain product. So people spending money on countertops, they're spending a lot of money. And so when you cut a 36 inch hole in the middle of that countertop, I don't want to say that you've ruined it, but you know, whether you're buying a gas or an induction top, it's either a big stainless steel box or a big glass black, uh, a black glass box. And it takes away from the beauty of the countertop. So when you look at the integrated burner design of Tulip and now mixing it with the gas and the induction, it doesn't ruin the design of the countertop but it makes your eye look at it from a different perspective where you look at it and say, wow, that's kind of cool sitting on that countertop as opposed to looking at a regular 36 inch gas cooktop and saying, oh, it's a gas cooktop. Yeah, it's great. And you guys have done such a great job out there of making beautiful stuff. And the cleanliness is such a big deal because I tell you what, my, I've got a nice 48 inch gas range at my house, which is awesome. But cleaning that cooktop is about an hour job. Yeah. I mean, when you take the burner and put it on top of the countertop, you've basically now allowed the burner to sit in the airflow of the kitchen. Most gas burners tend to be somewhat submerged and not at above the plane, but either in the plane or below the plane. So a lot of that extra heat that's created from the gas burner sitting under the pot gets trapped. And so if you have a spillover or whatever, it all goes inside the well of the cooktop and then it just bakes on and you spend hours trying to clean that out. But when you elevate the burner above the countertop, now it's sitting in the airflow. So whether there's a draft in your kitchen or you've got the hood on or just you walking by, whatever, creates a draft. So the primary heat from the flame goes to the pot, but there's no buildup of secondary heat. 
And so the gas uh, burner doesn't overheat the countertop like one would think. And you can just easily just wipe as you go. You're never going to burn yourself. Boy, that is great. And then I think the other hidden thing with you guys is that uh, that I really like is if you've got that ADU, maybe you've got that uh, little space there for grandma to live in the basement or the, uh, you know, the other place in the back. Maybe you've got a little tiny home outside. These are great for that as well because you can make it uh, as big or small as you need to. Yeah, there's a lot of new construction where, um, you know, builders and maybe just even homeowners or condo owners are building an extra an extra suite, whether it's for a Verbo or a, a rental or for their in-laws or whatever. And so instead of just buying a regular 12-inch square cooktop, you can do a little bit more and have a bit more of a design feature because someone's going to live there. And whether they're paying a top dollar because it's a rental or whether it's your mother-in-law and you do love her and you want her to cook on something a little nicer, uh, the Tulip does offer you that option. That is great. So, Amir, how do people find you guys? Um, so there's a lot of social media on Tulip Cooking. You can certainly find us online. That is a, that's not even a challenge anymore. And, you know, we were selling to a, an established dealer and designer base. So it's, it's, uh, it's work, but we do get the word out that there is a, a newer design of, of an integrated modular gas cooktop and the incorporation of induction, especially now with all the, 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 the hubbub about induction and how clean it is and et cetera, people are looking for that modular design. And now that it's available with induction, um, it's making the Tulip brand a little more prominent just in the social media because people are, are specifically searching for induction options. Great. And what is your website one more time? It's tulipcooking.com. All right, brother. Thanks for coming on today. Can't wait to see what you guys do next. Hey, thanks a lot, Eric, for having me.